I came dressed apart today so you already know I'm doing a whole coloring book page using only pink. Loki scared but let's go. Hey people, it's Temi if you're new here. I'm back again using the Ems Drawing Coloring Book. I'll leave a link to all my supplies down in the description, but let's get straight to it. Here's the coloring book, honestly one of my faves. And here is our lady from last time. How beautiful is she? So obviously, you know, it was a whole page using only orange. I was terrified, but I'm so gassed with how it came out. So I'm gonna name her Alani Autumn. Thank you guys so much for your suggestions. And yeah, let's go on with today's. The first thing I need to do is to try to find an illustration that I think will match the pink vibe. I want to do like light pink skin with maybe lightish hair and then coloured background so that she kind of stands out. I say coloured, I mean pink. <laughs> but I really want to vary the tones that I've got going on. You know, bring in a bit of contrast. But this one, I'm loving the vibe of. The softness in her look and all of that, I think it will really fit the pink vibe. So I'm going to grab my pink markers. This is the Massive Ohuhu 320 set. I have a link down below with all the other supplies you see in this video. And just looking at the swatches, some I say dark pink, but really it's looking purple. Some others are looking very red. So I'm gonna need to be careful. Like that one is giving orange, but again, it's got pink in the name. I definitely have loads of pinks up here in the swatches. And then on the final card, we've got this fluorescent pink. So I'm kind of looking at the swatches, but also looking at the cap. Which ones do I think are giving me pink? I'm just grabbing as many colors as I can see. And here are all the pink markers we're playing with today. Split them up into lights and darks. I'm kind of nervous. I think I have more chance for contrast compared to the orange that I did last time, but it's still always scary. So that's why I'm glad we've got this thumbnail page I can do a little practice on first. Starting with the pink of the skin, I'm going with one of the lightest pinks that I've got. I really want a nice light base for her, but for the hair, I really want this dark, bright pink, almost like direct contrast to the paleness of the skin. And then I'm using a slightly darker color for some of the shadows. And now I can go in to add some shadows to our pink lady's face and body. I'm also trying to think about light source and I'm also considering doing like a backlit kind of thing. We'll just have to see how that goes. I really love the richness and darkness of the hair. So I want her top to also match this and her eyes and her lipstick too. I really love this simple look for our character and I think for the flowers, I just wanted to kind of enhance her. I don't want to take away too much from her, but for the flowers closest to her, I've chosen a really light pink and then I'm just dotting the other pinks to add a bit of variation. And for the leaves, I don't know, I always kind of default to like the darkest color I've got. So I've gone for this reddish pink. I think we'll just have to play that one by ear. The great thing about this tester page is I can really just play around and visualize what I think the illustration will look like in the end. I think I'm really missing some light pinks. So I'm trying this one, but this is giving orange, it's giving peach. So I can put that to the side and ignore it for the future one. And while I was prepping for this, I was looking for different types of pink flowers, but most things are kind of samey. And in fact, if you want to see the behind the scenes, so I usually do some prep on my iPad and then I also find multiple images that I end up working from. But if you want to see some behind the scenes for my coloring book videos, then head over to my Patreon. That video is live now. For the background, I've chosen this light to medium pink and I love what it adds to this. I think for the actual piece, I'm gonna need to find some lighter flowers just to help the contrast a little bit. And don't forget, I'll be finding my white pen for extra details. But for this tester page, I'm not mad at it. But I am a tiny bit scared. But I think we're safe to move on to the actual coloring. The first thing I've done is to put a piece of card to lean on. 
if you're familiar with my coloring book videos where I just use markers you know the markers bleed all the way through and I don't want to mess up the next coloring page but I'm going straight in with the first color and is it just me or is this color looking a little bit different or did I pick the wrong one I think I picked the wrong one What's annoying about this process is when I do the tester page, I try to record what colors I'm using because obviously I'm going to forget. Sometimes it's a few days in between filming. And for this one, I just don't know what came over me because that was definitely the wrong initial shade. So we're off to a bad start. kind of changed my mind about how I want this lit and I want to play around with a backlit kind of look and you can probably see this better in the shoulder slash back but I've left a sharp highlight period and maybe I'll go in with a white pen to accentuate some of the face but if you're familiar with my coloring book videos you know I don't like to play it safe I might as well try different things different techniques that I'm new to and if it turns out bad it is what it is <laughs> we wouldn't die we'll come back next time for the next page and going on to the pink hair I just love this shade for her hair I think it just brings out fire so much vibrancy it's giving confidence it's giving everything I love it I'm using the chisel tip side just to try to go over the massive area and also trying for it not to look patchy as well I will go back with more layers of colors so it's all good this one honestly no technique just vibes I'm trying first to map out some of the strands of the hair with a slightly darker pink and this is just so that I have a better idea of the flow of the hair and now I'm going with an even darker color so more for the shadows in the hair and with each lock of hair I'm kind of going highlight shadow highlight shadow so leaving space for where the lightest points will be but just trying to get the deeper shadows as well Now I'm going in with a mid kind of pink to blend the lines out a little bit so it doesn't just look like lines on a page. I want it to have a little bit of dimension, you know. And in the roots, I'm just going with the darkest pink. But now for the lips, I just want a matte pink lipstick. I think that's so pretty for this look and using a similar shade for the top as well. For the details for the top, I'm going quite bold, putting some sharp shadows in and blending it into the initial color as well, just to accentuate the ruffle kind of effect. Now for the eyes, I ended up going for this kind of dark pink, but I wish I left it kind of light. I think every time I was looking at the swatch, I didn't really have a true light pink that I really liked, but quickly done small small with the white pen i'm not loving this <laughs> so i'm just gonna move on to the flowers in the background if you're familiar with my channel you already know i don't know my flowers i don't know the names of flowers i don't know what they're meant to look like so apologies because i'm pretty sure every single flower will be colored wrong however i did use random reference pictures of random pink flowers so i'm trying to imitate the kind of vibe and the kind of look what i noticed though is a lot of pink flowers have yellow in the middle or another like nice contrasting color and obviously because all i can use is pink <laughs> i'm not going to be able to achieve that so maybe one day i'll do another coloring book page that's meant to be quite realistic and quite accurate to the actual thing but until that day, we're just gonna accept whatever flower I color. I'm trying to really use my markers to add the shading, add details, do things that I might not necessarily want to do as a default but just stuff to add a bit of visual interest also trying to mimic the same colors at different parts of the piece to keep it quite cohesive and yeah that's the basic plan
initially I wanted to do a gradient kind of effect so going from lighter flowers around her going to darker flowers around the edges of the page and I started that but honestly it's not as easy as you think now it's background time i think adding a background would just help me with some of the lighter flowers so i know what it looks like in context i'm using the same pink shade i wrote down but is it just me or is it looking different it's looking a little too light i think i would prefer a medium pink kind of shade but i'm also conscious that i don't want it to clash with a lot of the medium pink flowers i've got in the background as well it's always kind of hard to gauge these things until the end. So I think I'll leave this pink and see how I'm feeling at the end. Now that I've got the background in, I'm really trying to use up all of the colors I've got in front of me. But a lot of them are very samey, if I'm gonna be honest. But I'm just trying to vary the tones that I've got. Adding the leaves definitely helps to bring it together in my opinion. I'm using the same colour all around the piece and I really think it helps to bring it together. now for my favorite part it is white pen time as you know if you're a regular on my channel it just helps to bring out the sharpest sharpest highlights and i absolutely love this step just extra bits of detail to bring everything together look how cute it looks on these flowers i absolutely love it And now for the hair, I want to get some of the sharpest, sharpest highlights and please bear with me and trust the process. If I was using coloring pencils for this piece, I could go in with a light pink or white and it would definitely have a softer effect. But for this one, I just want the brightest bits being shouted at and then I'm gonna go over it with a pink to blend it out a little bit. And this is so that you can somewhat see the raised highlights but then it's not like bright white in your face and I just love this effect and now I'm going back into the background and I really think she needs to stand out a bit more from the background so I was just feeling like giving her this white outline so it's something I've done before but I really love the effect that it makes And here is what our pink lady is looking like. I feel like the cameras don't do her justice. But I quite like how this turned out. Let me know what you think. And let me know what we should name her down in the comments. Shout out to my patrons. Head over there for an extended video. If you love this video, I'm sure you love any of the others in my coloring book series.